What's up everybody, it's Monkey Farm, and today I'm going to show you how to build the XP farm at the bottom of my mob spawner. Um, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, an XP farm is basically a trap at the bottom of a mob spawner that uh, enables you to safely kill the mobs and collect the XP so that you can enchant your tools and your armor and all of that stuff. Uh, so basically, uh, you'll notice that I can stand really close to the creepers and skeletons and they can't shoot me or uh, blow up or anything like that. And basically that's the whole purpose of this, so um, is to put you in a safe place where you can collect all the XP and there you go. So there are a couple features to uh, my XP farm. One, uh, you'll notice that some of the drops are still back there and I can't reach them so I have a loot pusher and uh, the other feature is uh, let's say I don't want to listen to this noise I can just drop all the mobs down into a lava pit and they can uh, die and I don't have to listen to all the noise so I'll show you how to build that but then another feature I'm going to show you how to add to it is a mob crusher with an adjustable time setting on it so basically that'll allow you to uh, to uh, push a button and uh, turn on a mob crusher to injure your mobs so that you can get a one hit kill on them and then uh, that way you won't uh, use up all your tools killing the mobs you know all your swords and everything so uh, let's head over to the testing ground and I'll show you how to build it what I've done to this is added a crusher with a delay timer so what that's going to do, instead of just pushing out the bottom row for the loot, to push the loot to, towards you, it's going to push out the top pistons as well, so that you can crush the mobs. And then the timer, the delay timer basically lets you adjust how long the pistons are open. So some of you might need to just crush your mobs for a couple seconds, um, and then, you know, uh, to bring them down to a one hit kill, and uh, some of you might need to leave the, you know, leave the crusher open for, I don't know, five or ten seconds. Okay, I figured the easiest way to show you how to build it is to kind of do it above ground so that when I dig down you can see what I'm actually doing. Um, so we have a six by nine area of dirt here and it goes down four or five blocks. And we'll need a couple more blocks on the side once we do the uh, delay timer, but we won't worry about that yet. So three blocks back, you want to dig out two blocks and put your uh, two sticky pistons pointed up and that will be the blocks that are pushed up to kind of block the mobs from shooting you or uh, whatever and behind here is where the shoot will actually be so the mobs will be falling down this hole now three blocks back from these sticky pistons you want two more sticky pistons and these will be um, the blocks that uh, are pushed forward to cover up the shoot um, so, in other words, if I powered these, the mobs will be standing here until we flip the lever and then um, all of these pistons are going to kind of activate. Okay, so uh, then on top of that, for the button, for the crusher and the loot pusher, we just want four more sticky pistons. Just like that. So we have a total of six, uh, two, block, two pistons wide and three blocks high. So now that we have all the pistons in place, basically we just need to uh, wire them all up. So why don't we place our lever and our piston so we can see you know, where they are. Um, so one block back from those blocks right there, we want a lever. And then on the other side, we want a button. Okay. And we need the we need this lever to power those pistons and the two lower pistons and the button will power those other four okay to power the lever up to the front and the lower pistons here uh, we need to make sure that the redstone is all hidden underground so that we can't see it um, so you want to dig down uh, in front of these front pistons dig down two blocks and you want to point uh, two repeaters at the blocks underneath these pistons and basically what's the, what that's going to do is these these will power these two blocks which will power the pistons and push them up okay and to power those we just need uh, to dig the block underneath the lever and then down one over here 
and we just need to run a redstone wire behind it like this. And the reason we do that is so that we can put our ground blocks, you know, the the blocks that we're going to use as our, you know, whatever it is, I'm using uh, half slabs, we need to be able to place those and not cut off the redstone wire. Okay, and we're basically going to power the lower pistons back here in the same way. So we're going to put two repeaters pointed at the block underneath these two pistons. And you can break, um, break these blocks here and just run a redstone wire behind them as well. Now there's one thing we have to do differently. You'll notice uh, when that lever is down, w when these pistons are up, we want these retracted because we basically want the mobs to fall down, right? So we have to just invert uh, this signal and you do that, you just put a block and then put a redstone torch on it and that redstone torch connects with that redstone wire there. So basically uh, when the lever's up all four blocks are here covering the uh, the drop-off chute underneath and the mobs will fall here and we can uh, we can get the XP from them and then when we flip the switch down these come up and these pull back and the mobs will now fall down. So that's the easiest uh, part of the redstone. Okay, to power the button up to the other pistons, it gets a little more tricky because we have to make sure the redstone wire is hidden underground, uh, but these pistons are obviously above ground, uh, so we're going to have to wiggle the redstone uh, down through uh, underground a little bit. Um, and you have two choices here. So uh, if you want the button just to push the loot out, uh, then just place these two lower pistons right here. Now if you want the loot pusher and the crusher, the mob crusher, then put all four pistons. But either way, whatever you choose, um, the way we're going to power this up is place a block next to the middle piston and then another one, one back. And the way you power it is just place a redstone torch on the inside. Okay. Now that's going to extend the middle pistons, but the way we extend the top pistons as well is just place a block above those redstone torches, so in other words behind these two pistons. So now all four are powered and extended. Okay, now to wire this back to the button is um, we, we're basically going to wire, you know, just vertically wire down basically. Uh, so place a redstone torch underneath the block that has these redstone torches on them. And I'm going to have to break this redstone here, by the way. Uh, just want to move that back one. Uh, basically, we don't, want, we don't want these wires to crisscross their signal at all. Um, so you just want to make sure there's no way for them to connect. Okay, so uh, I dug down another... Whoops another level and you place another redstone torch and same on the other side okay and the way we're gonna power that is the same way we powered uh, the other blocks and that is to place a repeater behind the block underneath the redstone torch so um, it's hard hard to show here but uh, so you see I'm gonna place that repeater there. It's pointed at the block below the redstone torch. Same over here. Okay, so we have that on both sides and we just want to wire this up. So now I need to show you two ways to connect this to the button. Uh, let's, say, let's say you only want the mob pusher. Okay, so let's just pretend that's what you see here. Um, you can just simply wire this up to the button. Okay? And that would just go underneath the button. So the block underneath the button, just wire that down. And oh, we need we do need to invert the signal because the pistons are already extended. But other than that, you'd be ready to go. Okay, so we press the button, 
those two pistons come out they come back in when the button pulls back simple as that so that's the easy way to do this now if you want the mob crusher um, this is where the timer comes in and it gets a little tricky okay so I guess the best way to describe what's going to happen here is we're going to press the button and this signal is going to extend those those pistons right so what we basically need to do is make sure that this signal doesn't shut off after you know after a second you know you push the button it turns off turns on um, what we basically want to do is keep the signal going until we want it to shut off whether that's two seconds or ten seconds it's all up to you so basically what we have to do here um, look at this little three by three area and you want to kind of build a it's kind of like a little circular thing I, I don't know how else to describe it but uh, if you see this block with a redstone torch and this block with a redstone torch the opposite way it's kind of like sending the signal in a circle you know what I mean um, see what I mean okay so that's one part of it the other part is basically we're going to extend or or we're going to split off this signal this direction and this is going to be our our delay that basically we tell it how long we want the signal to stay on and I'm just gonna put a bunch of redstone repeaters here on four ticks now it doesn't really matter um, it's up to you how long you need the crusher to stay open and you know if you need more just keep building you know keep adding more repeaters it's totally up to you um, I don't know how many this is but it's okay I'm just going to add them here and then you need to connect you know once you turn around you need to connect them with a redstone so what's basically going to happen is this signal will go first and extend the pistons and simultaneously um, this will circle back and uh, keep the redstone torch lit or in this case off um, until this delay signal over here comes and changes this redstone to let that redstone torch turn off so I know that I don't know if that made sense or not but okay let's uh, let's watch it again okay and uh, as I don't know if that seems simple or it makes sense but uh, I hope it made sense to you because uh, basically that's all that we need to do um, you know and if you want to decrease the amount of time that the uh, the pistons are set open just you know move these down to one tick or uh, you can remove some of these as well let's say uh, you only wanted those um, so now it'll stay open a less a lower amount of time or a shorter amount of time see okay now basically all we need to do is finish uh, cleaning the actual building up so um, whoops why don't we add a few blocks here uh, let's do four high and I'll place two rows of glass here two rows of glass Now you just want to make sure that you don't place any blocks that are going to cut off your redstone wiring uh, because otherwise you know the signals will get cut off just make sure you don't do that okay now uh, we need two uh, glass blocks there you know so that the mobs can't uh, shoot us or the creepers won't explode and then we need to place uh, blocks in front of the uh, sticky pistons okay and that's basically um, that's kind of the bulk of it right here the the mobs your mob spawner is going to need to be a two by one uh, for this particular XP farm and the mobs will drop down here so this is what the mobs see when you're killing them they can't get out they're all pissed off they're like let me out this uh, in my let's play world is actually 
attached to my waterless pistonless mob spawner. Uh, I do have a video on that if you uh, if you haven't seen it or if you need to build a mob spawner that will work with this. Um, I basically built that at, basically at the same time that I built this XP farm. So if you are building a mob spawner, go ahead and check out that video. I'll put a link up on the screen here uh, just so you can see that. And uh, there you go. So there is the uh, the switch that will let the mobs drop. That one's just as simple as that. And then you've got your button here. And you can use that to pick up your loot or to crush your mobs. And there you go. There's the whole thing. I, uh, I know you guys have been waiting a while for this, so I appreciate your patience. And uh, uh, leave any questions that you still have in the comment box, and I will try to uh, help you out as much as I can. And... Um, yeah, I guess that covers it, so have a good one.